RPC-745 Registered Phenomena Code 745 Object Class Beta Yellow Hazard Types Sapient Hazard and Animated Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-745 is to be contained within Flat Jason Island, an uninhabited island within the Falklands Islands archipelago. The island has been placed under authority jurisdiction and has been designated OL Site 745. MST Sierra 14, Falklanders, has been assigned to keep RPC-745 contained. In order to take advantage of RPC-745's protective properties, all Sierra 14 personnel have been issued Argentine military uniforms from the Falklands War. Civilians are to be directed away from the island, citing munitions disposal. Description RPC-745 is a mechanical humanoid entity standing approximately 189 centimeters with an approximate mass of 82.7 kilograms. RPC-745 is constructed primarily out of steel, with an outer layer being constructed of Kevlar. RPC-745 has a manufacturing date listed on the back of its neck, displaying the date, December 18th, 1980. RPC-745 is sapient and is capable of fluent speech, perceiving sights and sounds, and fluid movements. RPC-745 requires no power source to function. RPC-745 refers to itself as Colonel Augustin Garcia Manzanetto, believing itself to be a member of the Argentine Armed Forces. Despite this, no records of its existence have been found within the records of the Argentinian Ministry of Defense. RPC-745 is fluent in the Argentine dialect of Spanish and possesses a basic understanding of the English language. RPC-745 is passive in most situations and is even stated to be friendly by OL Site-745 personnel. RPC-745 is shown to be extremely hostile towards British personnel, but under the condition that the individual must be wearing a standard British military uniform from 1982 or prior. This behavior also applies to humanoid anomalies meeting the same conditions, such as RPC-668. RPC-745 is noted to protect all Argentinian personnel from any situation that it deems to be dangerous. RPC-745 is also noted to follow orders from Argentinian personnel if they are wearing an Argentinian military uniform displaying any rank above colonel. This behavioral pattern also applies to recordings of Argentinian military personnel above the rank of colonel from any time period. It is unknown how RPC-745 identifies the ranking of personnel from these recordings. Discovery RPC-745 was discovered on May 31, 1982 during the skirmish at Top Mallow House on Mount Simon Island in the Falklands Archipelago. During the skirmish, Argentine forces observed RPC-745 attacking British forces. Upon Argentinian victory in the skirmish, RPC-745 was noted as celebrating by Argentine private Sergio Martinez. On June 1, 1982, the Argentinian government contacted the authority about RPC-745. RPC-745 was then recovered with all surviving combatants being administered amnestics. Test Log 745-1 Date April 13, 1983 Procedure 10 CSD personnel were sent to OL Site 745. Upon entry, they were all given British military uniforms and unloaded L1A1 SLR rifles. One of the CSDs was reported to be from England. RPC-745 was then taken in front of the CSD personnel and given an Argentine military pattern FAL with 10 rounds of ammunition. Results RPC-745 was seen raising its rifle. RPC-745 then fired a round into the head of the English CSD before putting the rifle down. RPC-745 then attempted to communicate with the remaining CSD. After proving to be unsuccessful, RPC-745 left the area. Test Log 745-2 Date, March 7, 1985 Procedure Researcher Alvarez was given an Argentine general's uniform for this test. 
RPC-745 was issued the same Argentine military FNFAL from the previous test, but with only one round of ammunition. A single CSD personnel meeting requirements for RPC-745's hostility was brought into OL Site-745. Alvarez then told RPC-745 to capture the CSD instead, rather than kill him. Results RPC-745 raised its rifle towards the CSD, but did not fire. Instead, RPC-745 proceeded to disarm and restrain the CSD, which it then brought to researcher Alvarez. RPC-745 proceeded to salute Alvarez before returning to its regular activities. The CSD was then sent back to Site-2. Test Log 745, 3 Date, December 7, 1990 Procedure A doctored recording of deceased Argentinian dictator Juan Perón was created, giving directions to kill two CSD personnel, one meeting the requirements for RPC-745's hostility, and the other being dressed in Argentinian uniform with an unloaded rifle. As with the previous tests, RPC-745 was issued an Argentine military pattern FNFAL rifle with the magazine containing two rounds. Results RPC-745 raised its rifle to the head of the English CSD first, quickly firing the first round. RPC-745 then focused its rifle on the Argentinian CSD with the recording still playing. RPC-745 then asked the Argentinian CSD if he was truly a traitor to Argentina three times. Upon the CSD giving a reply of no three times, RPC-745 shot the speaker playing the recording. RPC-745 then left the area, returning to its normal activities. And this is a recovered journal entry dated May 31st, 1982. It would be another day of this war as usual if it hadn't been for one event. When we were fighting the English, something wearing our uniform helped us. It called itself Colonel Augustin Garcia Manzanetto. Looked like something out of a low-budget science fiction propaganda piece. <laughs> Hell, Galtieri will probably steal this idea. After it helped us fight the British, it celebrated its victory with us. It was rather nice to us. We were not freaked out after the skirmish knowing that the machine was on our side. Hell, Diego even made friends with the thing. <sighs> Whoever reads this is going to think I'm crazy. Private Sergio Martinez, Argentinian Army. <laughs>